All right, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, The Clipper Doctor, and I am back. Um, and I'm coming back um, from a long time of recording, or not recording, things like that. And I do want to apologize to you all and let you know I got some good content today. Um, we're going to do the wall magic clip or senior modification to be able to use the Andis Master Blade. And as you can see, it is zero gapped. Um, quick little story. I uh, bought a bracket online. Let me find it. From an, in areas, from an individual. Uh, I won't say who it was, but it was supposed to be the same thing. And um, long story short, I put them on a pair of Kamai clippers that were had a, the, the lever was broken on them. So I could actually go down a lot further and uh, or up further and zero gap with no problem because it had no barrier. It had I could take this up as far as I wanted to. Um, I ended up getting my masters fixed and repaired. And they came back to me. So I stopped using them for a while. Then one day I saw them laying around. I said, let me put them on magic clip. Well, when I put them on magic clip, they wouldn't they wouldn't go no further than maybe about there. About right there. Zero gap. I mean, not um, while I was trying to zero gap them. So I contact the person, let them know the situation. Basically, let me know, hey, um, I'm not going to deal with it. Um, kind of tried to insult my intelligence as far as, you know, zero gap. And I know completely how to com take. I can take this clipper completely apart and put it together. So zero gapping is a problem. But anyway, long story short. Uh, I let him know who I was and what I did, and he kind of basically was just like, screw you, you know, whatever. So, long story short, I decided to learn how to do it, and I say I did a pretty dang good job. I mean, it didn't take nothing but <laughs> about four or five different fails, but like I said, I got plenty of these laying around, so there's no problem. Anyway, getting to it, these are the tools you'll need. You'll need a screwdriver. Let me get this out the way. You need a screwdriver. Uh, I will use an impact wrench. I mean, impact drill. It works so much faster and so much better. I would use uh, some type of clamp because I see people online. They're trying to use screws. I mean, uh, pliers and stuff about tearing their hands off. You know, so just some proper tools. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is let me see if I can turn this off first. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it on. Anyway, first thing you want to do is you want to remove your arm here. Well, let's remove the blades. Now, you want to go ahead and remove your uh, lever. So, you're going to be unscrewing for a few seconds. So, just go ahead and get ready for that. that like, that's out of there. Okay, so we'll put these to the side. Try to keep your stuff lined up to where you have them, where you can kind of see your stuff, and uh, keep it in order. Now, we're gonna find, we're gonna take our old good bracket off, put it over here, and our blank one, and we'll put it on here. Now, when the bracket goes on there, go ahead and put your lever back on. Like I said, this this whole thing doesn't take too long at all. So I'm gonna try to make sure this video isn't too long. I just got this new Sony ZV-1. I'm still learning some things about it. It kind of has some little issues, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, now, where our marker comes in place is you wanna put your blade, whichever blade you're gonna use, on top of your cutting blade. Do not zero gap this. What I would recommend is go up about in that, hmm, about right in that area there. I don't know if you all can see that. Let me see if I can pull it down. About right in that area. So once you get it to where it's good in that area, not even nails, about, about a nail's length, go ahead and turn it to the back. I mean, I keep, keep turning just to make sure you're good because you don't want it to slip down, but get a good grip, turn it to the back. And what I do, that empty space right there where you see clear uh, th uh, uh, see it open 
I don't color it in, I just dot right in the center on both sides. Because coloring the whole thing have you find in the center, but I just put it right there. And there are your two holes. Right in that area. Okay? So, once you do that, cover your marker up so it doesn't dry out. And remove the bracket again. Now, try to have a few of these brackets around because even this, even doing this video thing, it's possible to mess it up. You know, we don't have just perfect measuring, so whatever. Now, this comes in as far as your um uh I forgot what the, the it, this this kind of puts a small dent where you put your circle. So push down. <laughs> And there you go. I don't know if you can see that. They made that little hole. Not even a hole, just a little dent. Flip it around. Do the same thing here. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right. Now, once that is done, here's where your clamp comes into place. Try to get it pretty tight because you're going to be using a drill so you don't want it to be moving all over the place I do not have this um, drilled down or bolted down I just got it and I'm not putting it here but this is the best way I can place I can shoot this video without any problem especially at this time of night so now that we have our marks on here let me see if I can zoom in a little bit now that we have our marks here Let's go ahead and get drilled. So you don't have to necessarily push down. Let the drill just do the whole. Let, let it do its own job. So let's go ahead and get started. That's one side. And we'll do the second side. That's the second one. Now, I don't remember exactly which size this is. Uh, truthfully, it's just a, any kind of small uh, drill bit, I believe, would do. Now, here's what's important. Your 832nd, that's the one you'll need. Snap that on, and then we're going to get the same thing going. All right. You want to put it right where the hole is. And then get started slow. Then move up here. That was the drill bit. I mean, that was the uh, threader. I don't mind letting it go through there because it seems to work out fine when I do it. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, there we have our bracket. Now, it might be a little warm. Let's get this out the way. Let's slide our bracket on. Now, it could possibly be a little tight because we clamped it. So, just kind of work with it for a little bit until you get it in the right spot. Let's move this up right there. All right, now, let's see if it works. We'll take our same blade. Let's take the fade blade. No, before we do that, let's go ahead and put the lever back on there. And kind of be pointless without the lever. Okay. 
and screw it on down. Now I'm hoping this video does pick up because I haven't had any chance to kind of set this video or this camera any type of way. So I'm just kind of shooting from the hip right now. I hadn't really got the chance to adjust any of the settings. So if it's not coming in as clear, hopefully you all understand the content that I'm putting out. And uh, I'll probably redo the video once things are better as far as clarity. But anyway, put your clipper back together. Like I said, the threader, I haven't had any problems with it. Oh. Looks like we got it. And there we go. I'm two for two. So we screw this back down. We screw this one down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fade and this master blade on a wall magic clip. So, like I said, it didn't take that long. I believe this video is about 11 minutes and including trying to adjust things or whatever like that. Let's just take it to where we can say about, it takes about maybe 10 minutes just at home. Now, I don't have any machinery, any special things or nothing like that. Just a just a uh, impact wrench, uh, a clamp, drill bits, um, a threader drill bit, 830 seconds, which you'll need, a marker, and 10 minutes. So I did the video completely with no pausing and just jumping to different steps. I mean, you see, I did it from start to finish. And here you go. Um, I want to shout out the person that I bought the bracket from for making such a big deal about it because you gave me the purpose to go ahead and learn how to do this and do it myself. So um, again, guys, in this in this in this business, man, we ought to be coming together and, um, you know, trying to trying to promote and help each other, not trying to tear each other down. So it doesn't either here nor there. You want to go ahead and do your clipper like this. It don't cost you nothing but the bracket that you have on your clipper and the money to get these pieces and parts. So, again, let me just show you what we use to get this done. Let me zoom out for a second. So, move this out your way. This is literally all you need to get this job done. There you go. So you'll need a clamp. <laughs> you'll need a puncher. You need a drill bit, a marker, your clipper, the bracket, a screwdriver, and an impact wrench with the 832nd drill bit with the threader. So hopefully this video helped you all got help you all out. It definitely helped me because again, this is what I was stuck with. And matter of fact, let me find the one. Where is my other one? I thought I just had it somewhere. So I want to give you all a visual as well. Okay. As you can tell, let me flip it. This one right here to my right is the one that I bought. This one to the left is the one I made myself. Let me get this where it don't glare. If you'll notice, the one to the left is a little bit lower than the one on the right, which would make it to where it's easier to uh, available and able to zero gap. So this one right here is no longer used. I can put this back on another wall blade like I'll probably do the other ones. And this is what we got. So um, that's that. If you did want me to do your, uh, if you want me to do your clip, uh, your bracket for you, you let me know, and we can work something out. Uh, but anyway, I'm two for two. I'll figure out what to do with that one because I only needed one. But I, but for you all, I want to show you all something. So hopefully, my time being away, you know, you all can forgive me for that, and hopefully, this kind of makes up for it. So um, enjoy your wall masters <laughs> but there you go now these are zero gap so this sound you hear right now 
it's one because of the fade blade, and two has got to go. It'll, it'll end up chopping some of the uh, plastic off of there, but you don't have to put it all the way down to here. You can put it right here and be just fine. Fade, open up. I mean, this isn't going anywhere. So again, hopefully this video um, helped you all out. It took about 10 minutes. So if you want to go ahead and get yours done and do it right, just watch this video and share it. Y'all, again, remember to please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, Clipper Doctor out. Y'all take care and be blessed.